Hey what's up guys this is Sunip Sky and in this video I'm going to show you how to dual boot Arch Linux and Windows 10 or 11 using the latest Arch install script. So I've already made a video on this but that method does not work anymore so I'm making a updated video. So without wasting any more time let's get started. So first of all we need to make uh, partitions for Arch Linux installation and we can do that just by typing lsplk to see the disk and your drives. So you need to identify which disk where you want to install Arch Linux so in my case it is NVMe 0 and 1 but yours might be slash dev slash sta if you only have one disk so once you have identified your drive you need to type cf disk slash dev slash and then your disk block number now it will open up a partitioning menu so you will see a free space if you have already made a free space using disk management in windows so after that go to the free space and create a new 1 GB EFI system partition and once you have done that click on the remaining free space and set it as a Linux file system and if you want you can also make a swap partition as well so once you are satisfied with your changes go to write and type yes and after that select the quit option to close CF disk now type lsblk again to see your partitions with their block numbers now we need to format the EFI partition as FAT32 and root partition as ext4 so type mkfs.fat-f32 slash dev slash then your EFI partition after that type mkfs.ext4 slash dev slash your root partition and if you want a swap then you can type mkswap slash then your created swap partition since I have not created any swap partition I'm not going to do that and after that type swap on and then your swap partition now we need to mount those partitions as well because we don't get that option anymore in arch install script so type mount slash dev slash your root partition block and then slash mnt slash arch install and if you get an error make sure to type dash dash mkdir after mount and after that we need to mount the EFI partition into slash mnt slash arch install slash boot so use the following command okay so we are finally done with the partitioning now we can use the arch install script to automate the process and install arch linux so just type arch install and script will open now you have bunch of options now you can leave the first few option as it is and you can select disk configuration now you have three options first option will wipe everything you need to choose the third option which says use pre-mounted configuration now you need to enter the root directory which is slash mnt slash arch install disk encryption and bootloader as it is we need to use systemd boot because other boot options won't work with the script and now you can set the root password if you want after setting root password make sure to create a user account click on add a user and set your username and a password and make sure that user has pseudo privileges after that go to profile and select desktop and choose the desired desktop environment for this video I'm going to choose xfc4 but you can choose other if you want after that go to dra graphics driver and select which GPU you have I have a NVIDIA GPU so I'm going to choose the NVIDIA proprietary option after that go back and make sure to leave audio as it is do not select any option because it will break the script after that you can select other kernels if you want 
and uh, after that go to the additional packages and here we need to type pulse audio or pipe wire according to your preference for audio after that type grub because we are going to use grub bootloader after that type efi boot mgr and then os dash proper now for network configuration make sure that you choose the option which says use network manager and after that for time zone you can leave as it is and you can leave the rest of the options as it is and choose install now the installation script will begin and this may take a while according to your internet connection so I'm going to fast forward this part So finally the installation is completed. Now if you are prompted with this option make sure to choose yes because we are going to into the ch root mode. So after you are in the ch root mode just type boot ctl space remove to remove the system d bootloader. So now we are going to use the grub bootloader. So for this type lsplk to see the list of your partitions and you need to identify your windows efi partition from the list and after that type mkdir slash mnt slash win and after that type mount slash dev slash your windows 10 efi partition block number and then space slash mnt slash win it will mount the windows 10 efi partition in that folder and after that type grub dash install space dash dash target is equals to x86 underscore 64 dash efi space dash dash efi dash directory is equals to slash boot space dash dash bootloader id is equals to arch this will install the grub bootloader Now we need to make the grub config file. So for this, you need to type this command grub dash mk config dash o slash boot slash grub slash grub dot cfg. Now after that, we need to edit the grub config so that it will detect Windows 10. So for this type nano slash etc slash default slash grub now find the line which says grub underscore disable underscore os dash proper and uncomment the line and after that find the line which says grub underscore gfx mode now it its value to your screen resolution for example mine is 1920x1080 After you have edited the file, press Ctrl plus O to save and Ctrl plus X to exit nano. After that, type exit to exit out of ch root mode and reboot to reboot into the system. Now every time you start your computer, you will see a grub menu to choose between operating system but here I'm only getting arch option because I forgot to regenerate the grub config file so I'm going to boot into arch and I'm going to do it again
so as you can see we have successfully installed Arch Linux now I'm going to open a terminal and type a command to regenerate the grub config file which is grub mkconfig o slash boot slash grub slash grub dat cfg After that, I am going to reboot to see if my windows is working or not. So now in this scrub menu we are getting option to boot into windows so I am going to choose windows So as you can see we are also able to boot into windows just fine So that's it for the video guys thank you for watching I hope you found this video helpful and if you did please leave a like and subscribe to my channel thank you